Oh boy. Call me Ayas because she is indeed a melody that is stuck in my head. Oh. Oh god damn it. Did they got phones here? Did they got their cellular telephones? Have they developed cellular tele- What the f- Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I... <sighs> what the heck? Yeah, to be honest, I do not like what's going on. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Ain't no way you just cock block me, Lenny. It's official. It's official. Genshin Impact is the first game to ever make me delusional. Oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? You know, like, maybe we could talk this out. I can explain to you my side of the story. You know, over a cup of coffee. 10 a.m. tomorrow. And I know some of you might think I'm weird, but personally, I don't care. Because I know everyone does weird shit too. Animals can also express their feelings. If you listen carefully, you can tell what state they are in. For a kitty, meow, means they are much happier than meow, meow, meow. And in that situation, you can pet them as much as you want, and they won't run away. Or they do worse. Like, way worse. Like, Ted Bundy type worse. I mean, the serial disappearances of young women. What? The fuck type of... Ted Bundy type shit is going on. Twenty years! Although considering everything I've been through while playing this game, I can't say I'm surprised. Like, who else has a resume filled with the gods that they have fought? Yeah, that's what I thought. No one. Except me. Fighting gods, I've <laughs> I've got Oh my god. Fighting gods? I've got a resume. <laughs> I mean I guess it's weird that the people in Fontaine treat every court battle like it's a drama. Ah. Give us a chance to speak back, Scott. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. A play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. But even though they're so invested in dramas, apparently they're not invested in their lives. Because that's right, the problem in Fontaine is that everyone is going to bite the dust. And I mean, everyone in Fontaine. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Fontaine is born with sin. This sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain. So that's the prophecy. People of Fontaine are born with a sin. A day will come when water levels will rise and every Fontanian will drown, which will leave the Hydro Archon, Farina, alone. Yeah, reading this out loud, I see why people don't believe in this. Why would they? There's so much missing information. What even is the original sin? Sea levels rising? I blame that on global warming. But now, the water is gradually swallowing. Yep. Global warming. And also the fact that it says people will dissolve into water. How does that even work? And it's funny because dissolving people wasn't even a problem until we stepped our dumb asses into Fontaine. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. Fact supported by sufficient evidence. You gotta be kidding. It reminds me of a certain prophecy. It's just a coincidence, isn't it? Could something so ridiculous actually be true? The appearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, but that's enough talk on how weird Fontaine is. It's time for me to introduce some of the characters. And what better place to start than the triplets? Or I think they're triplets. Meet Lynette, Lenny, and Fremenet. And this might be the first time I'm saying this, despite being part of the Fatui, they're a pretty good trio, with chemistry resembling the big three of Miami Heat back in 2010, with LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later Fremenet himself. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. That said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? Could just make a friend like Fremenet here. 
Isn't that right, Fremenet? Is this what you meant by I'll help you make some more friends? But just because they're really close siblings doesn't mean their personality types are the same. So let me clear this up for you. Lenny is the talkative one. Fremenet doesn't like to talk at all. And I'm about 88% sure that Lynette's a robot. Or a fur- <coughs> But that doesn't matter, because what they're really known for is their magic. You want a bird to pop out of nowhere? Done. Want Lynette to pull a David Blaine and disappear into a water tank? Done. Oh, shit, she did. Oh, okay, now my thank god. Wanna watch Lenny swap places with a spectator from box to box? Done. Holy shit! Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Fortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. What the His fuck? Name is Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box rather than the guest from the audience. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case yeah, I of knew serial it. disappearances of young women. Yikes. Um that took a turn so because of that information there's a high chance that this isn't an accident so you say that our powerful magician mr linney is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case okay i'm gonna stop you right there lady farina there's absolutely no way he could have done this are you willing to act as mr linney's attorney and defend him in this case oh well, I guess I'm a lawyer now. Don't worry, Lenny. You're all good. That's the reason why they call me Sure Motherfucking Lock Holmes. So, uh, I'll see you later. I gotta go collect some evidence. Hey, you. Yes, both of you. Over here. Oh, shit, it's Navia. Meet Taylor Swift. I, I mean, Navia. Meet Navia, president of Spina di Rosula. She goes by many names. Taylor Swift, Navia boss miss demoiselle or you could just call her partner and she has one of the greatest butlers of all time actually two of the greatest butlers of all time meet silva and my main man melus i swear to god they're the best people to be around but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech i believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm Pendant, pleased to meet you and i'm melus the most serious daily needs and affairs are under my purview. And with Navia's help, we were able to collect all the evidence we can and finally head to court. Where it felt less like I'm playing Genshin and more like I'm playing the game Ace Attorney. My most anticipated foe concedes so easily. Just you wait for the turning to Phoenix right. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. Objection! I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. Huh? I was right by the box and I definitely heard the thud. Oh, shit! My foundations are rock solid. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Objection! You believe that he knew nothing of the incident? That's right! The case! And if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Assuming that what you say is true, Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Oh, they have a point. That poof, there you go. Oh, Paimon turning into Phoenix Wright. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Would you ask? You're saying that he wasn't. Take that! <laughs> That's right! Lenny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. Hold it! Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. What? I can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how 
wonderfully comedic. Hold it! Excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. Is he what you've cooked up? And voila! Wait, isn't that Halsey? At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to life! Captures within the Opera House was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Let's go! Phoenix right. Even though we were able to prove Lenny as innocent, this ultimately made more questions than it solved. Due to new information of people being able to dissolve into water, Nava makes a request for us to do one more investigation. And that investigation is the serial disappearance cases of young women. And don't worry, I'm not gonna go on another 10 minute section of just finding information, evidence, and then going to court. I kind of already showed you that two seconds ago. I used to deliberately keep a few people in the dark and observe the reactions of the synth vendors. If the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individuals informed of our orders must be innocent. If the vendors packed up and fled, however, then someone must have given them the news. After several rounds of testing and investigative tracing, I've narrowed the suspect list down to three people. Oh my god! Never mind, this guy is Sherlock Holmes. After doing my oh so reliable Sherlock Holmes investigations, we've narrowed it down to the main suspect. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to the courthouse and quickly settle this dub. Wait, why is child here? To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. Yeah, I'm sorry, Monsieur Nouvellet, you totally got the wrong guy. Marcel. The head of Confrérie of Cabriere! Case of Tell Us the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. And you also might be wondering, where the fuck am I in this court battle? Well, we're kind of pulling off a risky move here, because guess what? We do not have hard evidence to convict this guy. So that's where I am, and oh boy, did I ever find some evidence. When I say I found hard evidence, I mean hard evidence. Like, down to the victim's ages. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. We even found a notebook with the most crucial evidence of all. Who is Marcel? Nope, it's not that Marcel is the son, it's the fact that- But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. Oh, what a plot twist. And of course, the rest is history. With all the hard evidence I gathered, there's no way this guy is gonna leave the court innocent. In fact, I, I think he experienced the worst possible outcome. And that's being confronted by his victims. I do not care what you did. If you get confronted by all of your victims at the same time, that is scary. That's insane. He's one step closer to becoming William Afton. Older than I remember. How long has it been? It's been more than 20 years. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Hey. Uh, wh what are you saying? If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. If not for you, 
I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, if not for you. Um. I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. <clears throat> Wait, you are not Vignier. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignier. I am the sacrifices. Oh. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. The only one I am not is Vignier. Why? But then, where is Vignier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. That. She also said that because she said that because oh, shit. She I accept it. that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. Oh shit! Vache. Yeah, he even quote unquote died of massive fright. Damn, he really is trying to become William Afton. Except, I don't think he's coming back. But you know who did come back? The only Fatui Harbinger I whoa, do not whoa, hate. Whoa, what the fuck? whoa. Excuse me, New Villet. Um, where's Child? Oh, him? He's, uh, he's in jail. Why? I do not know. Do you want to find out? How would I find out? I mean, you can go to jail and find out where he is. I'm down. Alright, a few days in jail, we have some clues on where Child is and... Wait, what are you doing here? Don't... Tell me you're actually in jail. We fought so hard in court and now you're here in jail. Fuck off. Anyway, where are your siblings? Oh, they're not in good condition. What happened? The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial sea water has increased significantly. Yeah, primordial sea levels are increasing. And you also might be wondering, where is this primordial sea coming from? And you will not believe. What I'm about to say. You figured it out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. If this continues, soon it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea at all. Oof, it's been what, two weeks? Still haven't found out where Child is? Why is everyone screaming? What happened? Why is everyone running around? Uh, hey, what are you doing? There's no time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Oh no, I have a theory on what's going on. <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. Oh wow, that thing is... Oh, oh what's going on? You're just in time. But, be ready to run. Oh shit, motherfucker got gauntlets. Oh, there's the primordial water. Oh, there's primordial water right there. Duke, I need you to get out of there. I don't want you to die. Or do that. Okay, sure. Why not? Or, okay, yeah, you can do that also. Woo! You gotta go. Go, do, go, do, go, do, go, 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 go. What a badass. This won't hold it for long. What a badass. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. This is where things start to get concerning. As New Villette moves down to save our asses from primordial seawater, some people are speculating if Freena even is the Archon. And I know you might think, how can she not be the Archon? Throughout this whole video, have I ever told you at least one thing that Freena has done? No, not one. No insane Archon powers, no putting people into dreams, no purifying some polluted waters, not even simple hydro powers. And people's speculations only got worse during the flooding incident. No, please don't tell me. 
No, please don't tell me. No. Don't say that, Navia. That's what friends are for. <sighs> no. Where's my boy Silver and Meadows? <laughs> Navia, what's wrong? Sorry. I... I just... Malus and Silver... They won't ever come back here again. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time. And... And they were caught in the seawater. Oh my god. <laughs> And while everyone was speculating on how Frina hasn't shown her divine powers yet, Nuvalet was showcasing his. <laughs> oh wow, they pretty... they held it back quite well. My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. Oh, they're not even gonna show us. Oh, they did. 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 They absolutely did. They absolutely did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. <sighs> oh my god, this motherfucker. This sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. With both the primordial sea and the flooding incident under control, we're only left with one problem. Who or what is Farina? Our speculation? A human. And once we started to perceive her from a human side, it only became more obvious. Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. I'm sorry. But what can I even do other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over? <laughs> Who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? The tear stains on your face are obvious. Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. And now that we have a speculation that she is human, Nuvalet wanted her to tell the truth in court. And while playing this part of the Archon Quest, I legitimately felt like I was doing something wrong. After probably being the first ever person to see Freena that vulnerable, it felt wrong to put her in that position. And I felt worse after seeing Freena's reactions to her citizens turning on her. Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much less the authority of a god? Come now, everyone! Please don't stare at me as if I was a liar! I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that you loved! <laughs> Shouldn't you want to believe in me? Please? You've got to believe me! If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks! What happened just now didn't prove a single thing! Please! Everyone! Anyone! Just listen to me! I swear, I really am your Archon! I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The odds are just too stacked against her now. <sighs> According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal, Farina is... <gasps> What's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? The Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon, guilty 
to be punished via the death sentence. And then, out of nowhere, to break the fucking immersion, a whale just pops out of the ground. And I know I failed to explain what this whale is, but to be honest, it did not do anything for the plot. Except for the fact that Child is back to save our asses. I have never been so happy to see a Fatui Harbinger in my life. Preparing to carry out the death sentence. No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. Farina! Holy shit. <laughs> Meet Fossilor. And I know she looks like Farina, but at this point, they are two separately different people. I'm gonna run this down really quick. A few hundreds or thousands of years ago, Fossilor decided to make an entirely different human race from Oceanates. And the heavenly principles were not happy. So then they made Fontanians, which was the new human race, have a sin. And the only way to resolve this sin is through the prophecy of Fontanians dissolving into primordial seawater. And Fossilor knew this. She knew the day would come sooner or later. So she made a plan. A plan to deceive the heavenly principles. And in order to do this, she needed to separate her divinity from her physical body. Which means there are now two separate identities. The divine Fossilor and now the mortal Furina. After Fossilor put a curse on Furina so that she lives forever, Furina needed to play the role of an Archon for 500 years. 500 years of suffering and loneliness. Because at the end of the day, Furina is still human. It's finally over. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. Understood. Keep monitoring. Keep me informed should anything come up at the Institute. I don't think I let anything slip today. I just don't know when these days will end. With the death sentence nearing, and the traveler finally learning of what Farina had to go through, Fossilor and Farina decided to have one final performance. I declare, people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. Holy goddamn, I'm up, I'm up, what's going on? The whale, it's, it's still here. Son of a 
Oh, look how big you are. I don't care. I'm about to actually end you, bro. And end him we did because I didn't do anything. It was all Nuvalet. This boss battle was basically five seconds long. You are about to witness. You are a witness. Oh, no, if I can hard me up. Fuck, child. Who are you? Who are you? Listen, I do not care who you are. Fontaine is flooding right now. If you have anything to talk about, tell it to Nouvellet. I'm dipping. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. We didn't just look. The prophecy was wrong. Oh my god, I am finally done with this video. I did not expect this video to be 30 minutes long and it's concerning because it could have been longer. I barely, hell, I did not explain anything about going to jail. I haven't shown you Farina after the events of the flooding and the spotlight still hasn't shined on certain characters that I haven't even touched on. I don't think I've explained this in any of my videos, but these Archon quests takes a minimum of 15 hours. And here I am, like a dumbass, trying to compress it all into a 30 minute video. But it doesn't matter, it's all good. The video is over. And with that, I am more or less caught up with Genshin. Three years late, and I've caught up. Ish. And because of Fontaine's story, Furina has officially become my favorite character. Which means I know what to spend my 61 intertwined fates and 10,000 primo gems on. So